So in the last class, we have seen the electromagnetic boundary conditions. So now we examine two important special cases. So one is the boundary conditions at a boundary between two lossless linear media and the second one the boundary conditions at a boundary between a dielectric medium and a good conductor. So we have seen the four electromagnetic boundary conditions which are given by E1 tangential is equal to E2 tangential and AN2 cross H1 minus H2 is equal to JS. So when the conductivities of the both the media are finite, the currents are defined by volume current density is J and the surface currents will be zero in such cases. So Js will be zero if the both the media are having finite conductivity. So the tangential component of H is continuous across the interface if the a two media are having finite conductivity. So, infinite uh, conductivity is a medium of JS exists. That is a perfect conductor. This is medium. Either the medium 1 or the medium 2 is a perfect conductor or a superconductor. Then JS exists. For all other cases, there are no surface current densities. There are only volume current densities. So, if both the media are having finite conductivity, only the volume current density is there and the surface current density is equal to zero and the tangential component of H is continuous. So, the tangential component of H is discontinuous if and only if any one of the media is a perfect conductor or a superconductor. And the third boundary condition is given by AN2 dot D1 minus D2 is equal to ROS and put one is B1 normal equal to B2 normal. So now, so now we discuss the special cases. So the first one, the boundary conditions at the interface between two lossless linear media. So a lossless medium is a medium having conductivity sigma is equal to zero. So, the conductivity is zero. So, it is a perfect dielectric or perfect insulator. So, the, in this case, both the media having the conductivity zero. But they have a permeability mu and uh, permittivity epsilon. Mu1 and epsilon1 are the permeability and permittivity of medium 1. And mu2 and epsilon2 are that of the medium 2. So at the interface between two lossless media, there are no free charges and no surface currents present. So we have already seen that uh, if uh, the two media are having finite conductivity, Js is equal to 0. And also at the interface between two perfect dielectrics rho s surface charge density is also zero. So no free charges and uh, uh, no surface currents exist at the interface between two lossless media. So we have uh, j s is equal to zero and uh, rho s is equal to zero. So the boundary conditions are given by E1 tangential is equal to E2 tangential. Any change on nulla. Now, namka area D equal to epsilon E, and E can be written as D divided by epsilon. So E1 tangential in varna D1 tangential divided by epsilon one is equal to D2 tangential by epsilon two. 
So in medium 1, the permittivity is epsilon 1 and that of the medium 2 is epsilon 2. So d1 tangential by d2 tangential is equal to epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 2. Adole, an2 cross h1 minus h2 is equal to js in the world. In the js is 0 and equal to 0. So, this cross product we already can do h1 tangential minus h2 tangential is equal to 0. And therefore, h1 tangential is equal to h2 tangential at the interface between two perfect dielectrics. So, we know that h is equal to v by mu and therefore, v1 tangential by mu1 is equal to v2 tangential by mu2. So, V1 tangential by V2 tangential is equal to mu1 by mu2. And similarly, we have uh, an2 dot D1 minus D2 equal to rho s which is 0 in this case. So, D1 normal minus D2 normal is equal to 0 that implies D1 normal is equal to D2 normal. So that means epsilon 1 E1 normal is equal to epsilon 2 E2 normal. And E1 normal by E2 normal is epsilon 2 by epsilon 1. And similarly we have B1 normal minus B2 normal equal to 0. Already 0 and B1 normal is equal to B2 normal. So, mu1 h1 normal is equal to mu2 h2 normal or we can write h1 normal by h2 normal is mu1 by mu2. So, we summarize the boundary conditions at the interface between two lossless media like this. So, lossless media is a medium having uh, the conductivity is 0, it's a perfect uh, dielectric and the surface currents and the surface charges are 0 at the interface between the two lossless media. So now we discuss the second special case. So the boundary condition at the interface between a dielectric, uh, it's a perfect dielectric and a perfect conductor. So perfect dielectric is having conductivity 0 and uh, Perfect conductor is having conductivity infinite. So they are having infinite conductivity. So there are many good conductors like silver, copper, etc. And their conductivities are of the order of 10 to the power 7 Siemens per meter. But there are superconductors having conductivity 10 to the power 20 Siemens per meter. But low temperature is required for the presence of the superconductors and there are uh, some room temperature superconductors also but there are some limitations so so that they are not used for industrial applications but in field problems good conductors are often considered as perfect conductors with respect to the boundary conditions so namku silver copper and all good perfect conductor aitu namlu treat cheyunu appo angane illa case le illa uh, interface and normally we consider another interface between a perfect dielectric and a good conductor. So we will consider a very good conductor having a high value of conductivity. So we know that inside the conductor the electric field is zero and there are no charges present inside the body of the conductor and all the charges reside on the surface of the conductor. So, here since electric field is 0, we know that D is equal to epsilon E, which is also 0. But, in time varying case E, D are related to B and H through Maxwell equations. So, since E and D are 0 here, B and H are also 0. I am going del cross E in the bar in the minus do B by do T and E 0 and B automatically 0. That is del cross H 
mu zero j plus dou d by dou t आना है इधर लम्बे relationship में ना के if e and uh, d are zero the corresponding b and h are zero only for the time varying case so time varying case लेग true आ बोलो static case लेग true आ बोले तो so h and b should be also zero inside the conductor so here we consider an interface between a lossless dielectric means a perfect dielectric having conductivity zero so that is the medium one and uh, a perfect conductor is the medium two so inside the medium two uh, the electric field e2 zero and corresponding d2 zero so in time varying case we can say that b2 and h2 are zeros since b2 and h2 are related to e2 and d2 through maxwell equations so e2 d2 b2 h2 are zero both the normal and tangential compound of e2 are zero and similarly for uh, d2 b2 and h2 so the boundary conditions are given by hum kare e2 zero ana e2 tangential zero ana so e1 tangential is equal to e2 tangential so e1 tangential is also equal to zero similarly h2 tangential is equal to zero or h2 is equal to zero so we get a n2 cross h1 minus h2 minus zero is equal to j s a n2 cross h1 is equal to zero similarly we know that uh, the boundary condition for d is given by a n2 dot d1 minus d2 equal to rho s so since d2 is zero here an2 dot d1 is equal to rho s and uh, b1 normal minus b2 normal equal to zero so since b2 normal is equal to zero we get b1 normal minus zero equal to zero so b1 normal is equal to zero so, so this is since b2 normal b2 normal b2 tangential b e d h r zero inside the medium so summarizing we will get e1 tangential is equal to zero a n2 cross h1 is equal to j s a n2 dot d1 is equal to rho s and b1 normal equal to zero on the uh, side of the medium one so in medium 2 e2 tangential is zero h2 tangential is zero d2 normal is zero and b2 normal is equal to zero so these are the boundary conditions at the interface between a perfect dielectric and a perfect conductor so medium 1 is the perfect dielectric and medium 2 is the perfect conductor so the equations are true for the time varying case so nammal kandu ivide js non zero avunnathu oru perfect conductor aayittulla interface il maatrana finite conductivity aayittulla interface il js um ivide zero aayirikkum so a into h1 um a case il zero aayirikkum and here we have to remember that a n2 is the outward normal from medium 2 so here we have discussed the boundary conditions at the interface between uh, different media abu namukku arya maxwell equations nu parayunnad ellam differential equations aanu appo adu solve cheyumbo avada constants of integration unda so this constants of integration are determined from the boundary conditions so that the solution is unique so without the boundary condition the solutions are not unique uh, the general solution aayirikkum namukku kittu maxwell equation so when we apply the boundary condition to a particular situation then we get unique solutions so boundary conditions are very important in the solution of electromagnetic problems so without them the maxwell equations will not have a uh, meaning so when the boundary conditions are supplied to a particular physical problem we will get a unique solution so that is the importance of